Um, it, it's actually Bunny and Nookie. So it's going to be interesting. Um, see a little bit of raise diff. Uh, I know Bunny talking about himself comfortably is <laughs> the best raise in the Hell world. Yeah. So. You've got to back yourself. You oh, kind of have to, of right? It's like everyone's like, no, I'm the best jet in the world. It's like, oh, I'm okay. uh, We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm with you, all right? For now, though, we jump into this one and we have to look at the likes of F4Q and what you have to bring. Statistically, not the most flawless map for them, but they've had some close runs against Vision Strikers. They've pushed some very good teams, but this is not going to be easy and not comfortable. And G2 have been no slouches. So F4Q on the attacking side to try and determine their way back in here. See so F4Q, again, at least initially going to wait on a couple of these. Ability cooldowns, but I mean, for me, with this composition, I'm looking towards showers control and I'm looking towards ultimately finding value in terms of opening engagements, whether or not it's traded out. Because if they're going to lean towards A in a couple of these, particularly these buy rounds, they're going to struggle really to find any control. D2 just have to back away initially from that barrage of pressure and utility, and there's nothing really for F4Q to hold on to it unless they find kills. As we see here, Coleman actually now got his recon bolt. Back online, and I see Kellogg's. 30 seconds left here. Kellogg's is going to find this information early with the Owl Zone as well, Lauren. Seconds left. Yeah, I guess the one bonus is that is currently the two players on site. There it is, Kellogg's. Ooh, he's got to be careful now. get away in time. He's going to make it in towards the smoke. Noted, though, in towards the cubby. Zumba is hunting this down. Spots him on the edge of the smoke, looks to follow up, but it's Nookie to control the play coming up short. And that's the raise that we know from the EMEA. Nookie welcoming them to the picture. Esperanza tries to lean forward. Nothing coming through. A flawless round there, a prime gaming flawless round G2. And, and look, we were talking about the win, the little bit of a bonus that F4Q had there. They only had two players to play against on that site. The split was looking good. They'd drawn that rotation somehow. And i got to say it, Kellogg's should have gone down, he should have been down. very, very quickly. And again, it, it's the lack of boys. Yeah, Bunny. <laughs> Nookie just, just getting up close to personal. Yeah, yeah Nookie. Uh, yeah, he just doesn't even flinch. That's the thing. We keep an eye on this guy. He just doesn't care about anything at all. He's here to play. He's here to frag. And well, he's setting a statement here in the first round. Dude, he's such a machine with how he plays as well. It's like, it's just, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll get these two frags, no problem. Yeah, I'll do it again. No worries. Uh, there's probably some players here towards lamps. All right. I'll just uh, fall away from that. Kellogg's, can you help me out? Yeah. Barney's jumping again. Thanks, Kellogg's. Again, look at this. Look at his composure. With everything that's been happening, no player has fallen. It is perfect precision and no threats were found. F4Q were right on the doorstep. Right on the doorstep and, I mean, how are you supposed to plant in that scenario? There's literally no way you can. A second Prime Gaming flawless here in round two. And it's exactly what I was talking about. Yes, that's kind of a throwaway round, but what's the, what's the plan there? Get up close and personal. You don't get the first blood. That kind of 10 to 15 second pause where... If you don't find a kill, you can't just run in and try and plant, right? They, they have to push a little deeper. And look where Nookie's backed up to here. Kellogg's playing outside. Showers, he's actually rotated all the way to the backside of triple. You want lamps? Take it. No problems whatsoever, because they know they can't do anything with it. Yeah, it's, it's very well considered uh, coming into this. I think we're going to see Bunny run it down a couple more times, because uh, now he's got a judge. <laughs> Show me what you got. We've been talked up, all right? I was all aboard the train. Well, no now. secrets. <laughs> no, no subtlety, is it? It's not a big surprise. But on the other side, there'll be a little bit of damage potentially done. No, Kellogg's actually going to be able to navigate around any of that. Not receive a point of damage thus far. Very well handled. But sadly, somehow, Zumba's been caught off. Evova finding him there on the aggress. And what a pace change. What a little bit of a different look coming out after a hyper-passive side. To now very attentive. And Nuki is in their spawn. Hi, Pock. How's he gone to the blooming spawn? Bunny says hello, rips the gun away. That's going to be a treat and a half. Okay. 5k. That's not bad getting down mix. Well, now we've got a 3v3. Those rifles are still out and about. Kellogg's going to just filter through that one as well. Going to fall away if he can. But where is the spike going through towards? Okay, it's straight towards the spots Bunny's leg, but he knows Bunny's going to be flying on him. Where to there? Spots him, can't land it. Bunny outdoes him. And now the site's under control. A couple of mentor and a rover. Left to try and recover this one again. Planted. Heavily in favor in terms of the weaponry here for F4Q. But, I mean, it's round three, T2. Their objectives here, damage at least. Even if this round doesn't go their way. Overtaking his time. No, hey, no, baiting no real stuff, but yeah, baiting that out. See if that can be worked on. No, nothing to come from it. Very well handled by F4Q. 
for Q. And considering how that started with some very, um, I don't say like over aggressive, I mean, you're on the bonus round, right? So you're trying to find those ways to maybe make the opponent uncomfortable, get that rifle on your side, maybe just close the gap with the Spectre, which they actually managed to do, but unable to convert beyond that. Well, talking about a, a, a kind of shift in the dynamic from map one to map two, you got to feel G2, especially in a round like that, where actually we didn't see them get particularly proactive in the early round of the previous map. Now they're like, okay, guys, let's uh, let's really test the waters. We've dipped our toes, opened up with two flawless rounds. Let's see where we can go with this. So whether or not we see, you know, some of those uh, historic G2 tendencies creep back into bind here at least. It's something to watch. Mixed actually going to flash out to Vova also Double to swing face. out into sand. I think, uh, again, this is trying to mitigate Bunny. Uh, this push to not allow, you know, that typical default where Raze can get full control in towards Hooker. Look at G2 being proactive. Look how deep this is going. Now, I did see that Vision Strikers were actually really able to push F4Q on you know, aggressive pieces, especially on like sort of split, their small little pocket plays. And this could be a lovely read. Mixwell has to respect the flash whether it was popped or not. No one close enough and actually didn't quite go through the smoke regardless, so unable to define whether or not people are just on the other side, but now well and truly aware can fall away, but look at the utility he's cost them here. Hey, look at the win. Look at the time. Aldrone then baited out. Again, a key piece of utility in terms of, you know, finding entry, particularly with Bunny as well. We know yeah, how it's... that's the double up. Bunny will actually find a peak at least. But now the paint shells, I've got, I mean, utility-wise, this is all playing to D2's favor. They're, they're not even close to the site yet. And they can call rotations if they fancy it. Maybe just pull the player across, maybe get one through. Bunny going to find a way in, but it's Ivova still waiting down below. Catches him and drags him down. No more free fun for you. But it's Esperanza with a perfect reply. There is still a player waiting on Mixwell. Waiting the wings. Does 5k find him? Oh, it's going to be 5k indeed to find Mixwell. They are going through all the due diligence here. And a quick, quick TP take. They've nipped on over towards A. That's huge. They are taking no risk with this. And right Rightly so, because Cold Mental was there. But where is Kellogg's? Coming back around 10 seconds now. Ten Timing seconds is everything. Left. Kellogg's could catch one here, but it, does he want to? No. He wants to spike. He wants to try and deny it. No, he can't do it. And there's Esperanza. Perfect positioning and timing could not have been better. Out of uh, had to make a split second decision there. 5k. Wow. Will drop Cold Mental. And, and actually, a, a great pivot. I was talking about how actually everything was playing into D2 favor there in terms of the utility trade off, in terms of the clock being run down. But Esperanza finding a Vova in. Initially, I can't actually remember who the second kill was, but both of these kills here, here's the first, the second as well with the adjustment. Oh, Look at that oh. there. It's Nuki to fall on the back of a triple assist. And somehow, I mean, Mixwell stayed alive so long I in Garden. Know I don't, he must have been Two spotted players, in the cross. Like, pushing yeah. at him. Yeah. Hey, it's reset the money, it's put it down to a, you know. Hey, keeping G2 honest in the early rounds, which was completely absent on a sense. So, uh, yeah. Well, I like the concepts that. G2 are coming out with. I like a lot of the ideas, but Seek is coming through. It's a crunch. It's going to be a TP crunch off the back of Shao's there. The flash is so blind here and called him enter and Mixwell on the punish. It's 5k to try and hold on. He's got nothing left to fight with. Athena finally comes around, but look at the damage now done. And now the late TP bunnies come through. No oh, way. Called a mentor out of nowhere. And now Athena is running for his life. It's a 1v2, and G2 had no right. Absolutely no right. They've been the in the lab. They've been working out these little set pieces. They've been finding those timings, everything they want. But now Athena gets Athena spike there, actually, as well. There it is, so maybe. Let's see what he does with this. He has room to push CT if he wants to, which is what I think he's going to do. He's trying to get ahead Love of the expectation, this. and I really think it's a good idea. But they're close together. It's not a one and done. They should be within trading distance. He peaks the first. He gets oh. the second, <laughs> Athena! That's a Red Bull clutch and a half. Remember that one, because that could have been a different picture. That could have been a tilter straight in the bin mentally, but he saves his sight. And we talk about that again, especially with a, a you know a man advantage for G2 there. I think Athena's best bet is to go forward and find you know an off angle, just play it unorthodox here. First onto Cold Mentor, and you, you nailed it as well. The spacing almost looked perfect for G2 in terms of you know remaining disciplined, not getting complacent there. Athena holds the line. We'll put F4Q ahead. I'm buying so far. Yes, one round, but like I said, keeping G2 honest. But again, we could talk about what was invested there for G2 and what they were able to achieve. Again, that's a big benefit that's, for them. It was a great round, all things considered. I, I love your trail. seeing those sort of things. But now we do have the Seekers going through. No, follow up off the back of it, pulling out a couple of ults, but 
to what end? There's the first. That's big. Finding Nookie's not bad at all. A reply comes out. And this is just doing damage from a part. Avova is still watching that cross as best he can, but he's been noted. And he is now damaged. It looks like the rest did come through, but look at the side being taken here. F4Q mean business. That's three back to back and big kills at that. Mixwell trying to maybe find the timing on this. I don't know if he's going to try and lean through. No. Oh, he has actually. Tell a lie. He slept through, trying to play a little head still caught. 5k, what a round from him. And I said I wanted to see 5k. I want to see the 5k that I've been watching on, you know, Rainer, on these lurks, on these mad pieces that definitely made a difference, but I hadn't seen in map one. Maybe on Sky we're getting a little bit more of it. I mean, a little unexpected, but I'll take it. At least an appetizer in these early rounds. And yeah. I want to come back to something that I'd raised, really, of how easy it's going to be for F4Q to execute onto A site, right? In, in terms of typically what we see utilized yeah. there to, to get some control. Right there, it's a trade-off of, well, the Hunter Fury initially, and G2 are trying to play deep enough to kind of mitigate that risk at least early on. Avova gets spotted out. I think it's Esperanza actually finds... Uh, was it Nuki? I think? He finds somebody initially with the ultimate and then gets the third yep. tag. So, so spotting that player that they can close down, that's huge in terms of G2's ability to kind of sit back and say, yep, burn all this U2 up because we know there's there's no second layer to that. Yep. Other than kills, there's nothing really that's going to allow them to just take control here. So a great round from F4Q. Question being, how many times can they actually repeat that? Hey, four on the trot. I just... <laughs> Wait and see. I I think it's very hard after that first map to know what we have depth-wise. I don't know what these guys have in the tank. We've seen them, yes, regionally look quite good. I'd say, as I said, the prince is to the, to the throne, but there he goes. It's Nookie this time to try and maybe do a little bit of that bunny work here, but no one nearby, and you're left feeling a little silly. Absolutely nothing. On the back of that showstop, <laughs> look how deep F4Q are. They're, they're all the they're, way back in cave here. They're in spawn, mate. Esperanza, got to be careful, though, because Nuki's hung around. Yeah. He will find it, but down to 40 HP. Picks it out of place there, I think. Actually, Esperanza, maybe a reflex shot onto the floor, Lauren. Maybe. I, I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe just make sure the mouse is warmed <laughs> up, because Kelx's is. I mean, Bunny, that's a scalp to be claimed, but there's still bits of danger to this. There's the light armor. This isn't so easy in the room that was taken earlier just off the back of the ult. Plays in so well for Cold Dementa. And F4Q are probably feeling a little weird about this one. It's starting to feel uncomfortable, but good work from again. Esperanza just slowly taking the space, moving forward, and actually adjusting, but there's going to be a player moving up. Avova's going to take this back. He's definitely heard these steps. Call can be made, but does he pull the trigger? He waits. No, he doesn't, and bounding past. It's Esperanza again, but it is just this squad just walking on through, just plowing through the map. Kellogg's did manage to get himself a phantom, but he heal himself up already. Numbers heavily in favor of F4Q. They will even give him the opportunity to find a kill here on the way out. Do any further damage. <laughs> Too many things to shoot at. Yeah, this setup is perfect. Actually, 5k will catch a headshot. Don't expect to see him peeking once again. But Afina, you already see reposition. I think Kellogg's anticipating maybe. He's, way, he's trying, through, man. But it's just, yeah. I mean, there should be two players noted at least now. And... Down to 8 HP, he's just trying to keep him here as long as possible, but F4Q remaining disciplined, and these are the sort of rounds that we talked about in the previous, yes, we're one, <laughs> and... Uh, They're getting fired up, man. We're Give it right little, back. We're hearing a little animation this, in the arena now, Lauren, which is... Um, it's all round, so they feel as though they almost sit within their own little uh, category there, but we go back in, let's see what G2 has left in the tank. Let's now, the I'm idea. looking at their options, looking at what they can maybe achieve and what they've brought into this round. Uh, more than serviceable purchase, maybe lacking bits and pieces of utility, but mostly serviceable. Yeah, I feel like actually F4Q just happier to sit deeper and deeper. I think this is in, in anticipation of exactly what we're talking about, right? They're, they're thinking eventually one of these rounds, D2 are going to do what we expect them to do, which is go exploring, go walking showers, go walking long, which is why we're seeing F4Q's default just become <laughs> even more passive. Now, the concern... Obviously, comes back to these late hits and what utility is really available to secure that plant, at least very late on. See, Kellogg's and Avova here now walk out. And this is kind of offbeat in terms of the Riven here. They will catch contact. Bunny, though, will come out on top of it. I've got your trains. Oh, no. Yeah, perfect investment on the timing of that as well. That's great work, Bunny. Not even going to mess around with it. It's 5k who swings towards Avova, but Nookie now 
is feeling a little alone and yet yeah, put to bed, put down, put out of misery. Mixwell backside, unable to get anything building. And look at this work. Bunny is just walking through. Cold Menta now considered. Bunny even turns for it and they know what is up. There is no threats, no worries. F4Q are in the building. They are turning up. Uh, that's so frustrating if you G2 as well because that's that's playing out so slow and they're like guys what's going on? Yeah, nothing nothing over here at B. Okay, we're gonna walk out showers. Okay, cool. We'll lean a little further towards B because there's nothing given away. Uh, I, I come back to it again. Look how deep this default is from F4Q. There's there's nothing that G2 can do about this other than pushing forwards. I mean if you're going for late round hits, maybe start talking about bringing ops out, bringing out different looks, trying to get... it. It's There's answers, and I'm sure this is something Sean, I'm sure will maybe tackle or try to tackle, is what do you do with this now? Because you're not finding any of that room. You're not finding even those aggressive pieces. Yeah, you take a bit of space, but they are sat so deep. You're taking such weird fights. And here we're going to see the pop flash from Mixwell, but bear in mind they are on pistols. Some upgraded, some not. <laughs> Athena. <laughs> Athena, I hated it. I appreciate it, but I hated it. And F4Q are just fine. They have taken over long. They are doing very well right now. And what an answer back for them. After it was an absolute rubbing on map one. It was horrible to watch for them, I'm sure. They'll review it, pour over it. Nothing nice about it, but a real confidence builder back in here. And look at this. I mean, F4Q just rolling as a unit, right? It's, it's kind of just death boiling, as opposed to Bunny being... You know, only really having an owl drone to, to find him entry to a side. Kellogg, let's see. I'll find a second, but 5k. One enemy remaining. Too quick with the flash there of over. Left. The sheriff, find the first, nearly actually, with a blue fire on the second as well. Luckily, he's in position for the trade, but uh, made things interesting at least. But just coming back to that point, really, uh, just look at F4Q's ability to stack up and just throw bodies towards the site. And now the problem is, this round deficit, every buy round that comes up, G2 know they haven't got one after that, right? So that's when they yeah. th they don't want to take risks, or the, at least the tendency changes, where at least they don't feel comfortable taking these risks. Speaking of taking risks, Lauren. Ops out. There's an operator in play. Got to get your off out for the lads. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... You gotta try that something, right? That is how the, right? saying, that is that how the is saying goes. Actually. Absolutely, how the saying goes. And hit. Okay, logs. Here we go. First contact made. Now they know it's on the deck, and it looks like they wanted to pick up the pace, maybe. And they. Ooh, the punish from Zumba. What a great idea! And Bunny's just gonna take the room. They have no respect. They do not care. They want this map as their own. Kellogg's is only good for one instantaneous trade for Zumba. As they're gonna start working towards the site, you can see the pressure now starting to mount. The divide is gonna come through, and G2's vision, their assumptions, are all they're gonna have left now. Man advantage for F4Q as well. Look at this, gonna flash through this wall. It's perfect there. Look at that response. Cold Venta actually finds two in response. Nuki finds two as well. G2 somehow flipped that back in their favor, Lauren. What a retake. Look, I'd love to say that was the op. It wasn't. I mean, <laughs> may <laughs> maybe there was the one, knock though. on effect. Maybe <laughs> the knock on effect. Let's kind of talk about it because they were just rabid after that. They saw that and they hunted well, it down. They pressured the site so quickly. This is the first time there's been maybe a chance for this to happen. The fact that Colin meant to find that second is crazy. But yeah, coming back to that again, you notice it's a sage with the operator again. Oh, Kellogg's okay. kind of playing the spot you'd expect the jet to be in, right? There's no get out of jail free no, card, at least. Stuck. You only get out of jail free card is that wall, and it went down so late they are still able to identify exactly where it is and do so much damage to him. Bunny then finds first blood on short. At that point, it's just a matter of time, right? Where does Kellogg's go? Okay, do they do it again? It is rinse and repeat, and Kellogg's is in <laughs> So much investment, but Bunny! Just quicker on the trigger, and it's all his. That shower control for, for Nookie is trying to work through on mid as well at the same time. There's the pop of the ult. Oh. I love that. But he's <laughs> to actually boost him out of danger. An attempt was made. Yes. I 10 out of 10 for effort. I love if he was safe completely. Just oh, yeah, he booped him, him into, into it. it. Yeah. <laughs> see you later. Bait me again. Oh, perfection. However, we go back to looking at where that next layer is. The trade back is actually impressive, and the aim for Athena just wasn't there that time. There's Nookie comfortable to claim it. And the first time we've really seen G2 maintain an advantage at this point. I just want to point something out. Avova now to address Bunny is playing with a judge inside lamps. So that's G2's oh. adjustment there to try oh. and at least, you know, I don't want to say stop the bleeding or at least quell Bunny. This time, actually, he's got the vandal. But the showstopper, again, in this scenario, Avova's probably just going to 
run straight towards him if that does get popped. But 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Spike is making its way through cave in spawn right left. now. Okay. Like a Zumba. <laughs> it's just... Run to the back of sight. Fallen away. 18 seconds. Could just post this. Oh, it's a trade out in the end of over. Must be so quick with that, to be fair. You don't get it. But it is still just a one player left. And oh, Mixwell holds his nerve. And G2 get a couple back. This is maybe the answer they've needed. It's not perfect. It is not perfect by any means. It's not. But it's it's rounds for G2. I want to take a look at the economy here. Because actually, if this comes out as 7-5 for yep. G2, that is nothing short of a miracle after we've watched this half play out. I mean... As comfortable as, as it's going to be, Bunny on the judge. That's effectively a full buy for F4Q Pretty in much. my book. Yep. Uh, and it isn't just that first rung of Bunny doing damage. We've now got everyone kind of finding it. I like to see 5K joining in on that. We've had everyone. Esperanza, a couple of big rounds as well. But here we go. 7-4. And we're underway. Bunny. He's been punished a couple of times. A great trade for Rafina. But it's a double down on aggression. Mixwell's not relenting and actually going to get okay. caught for it. They are all stacked up. And Esperanza will absolutely welcome it with open arms. We're down to two. Avova and Kellogg's. One ult there to be maybe worked on. But are these recoverable reses? I don't think so. I mean, look at the ground that has to be covered. You can see Zumba actually catch Avova off here. It's Kellogg's left. Sheriff in hand. Lockdown invested now. Fantastic. Yeah, but... Only really just going to make it a little more difficult for Kellogg's to fight back in. Uh, again, feasibly, yeah, this is this is a 1v, 1v3 and it's not going to change. Let me tell you the story. I'm listening. Right, it was a 1v3. Kellogg's only had a sheriff. Mad, right? But there was a chance. You can see he's got a, a couple of guns there. He's considering it. There he is. And when the round was talking about, obviously, he picked up a knot. I'm, I, it ain't this round. He can barely make it past the turret right now. Life is is truly not a dream as it stands, and it's and everything. It's all being thrown. In. Kitchen sinks on the way in a moment's time. Absolutely, not a hope in hell. And F4Q have done wonders here. There's a chance for a third map. Which, if you are just tuning in, let me uh, roll that around. Haven. Yeah, be coming in. that's interesting, but I, I do want to come back to the 8-4. Very different story here to 7-5, obviously, how quickly G2 yep. would be able to, uh, I guess, respond back into this with a with a pistol and a conversion. 5K, going to jump spot, going to find a lot of information, actually, and the spike a little deeper. Although I don't think Kellogg's was noted initially. Both actually jumps right. I'm not sure if Nuki's able to... Has he been able to get there completely undetected? I think he has now. He's had to shoot, but oh. 5k will find a Vova in response to that. If we get some more spicy Sky players, you know my life is just filled with joy. So looking forward to if 5k can keep this up, because he's already had a sick start, but his Kellogg's to just tame him down. That's now long going to be at least, I guess, removed from F4Q's vision. But we did hear the TP oh, going no. through in the double stack towards shower. Now might have some fun. They haven't actually crested the corner. There was so much potential, and they still punish as well. Great work towards Cole Menta. Kellogg's. There it is, caught in the end. So as it stands, just Mixwell in a 1v3. Not quite made the raid boss with the frenzy. Spike is noted. And it looks like that clock is just now dwindling away from him. You can see already the push up through left. towards short. Spike, spike garnered. Does have a flash to hand. There's one bonus. Can he find anyone? There's that flash. Fake flash doesn't need to pop it. Barney jump peaks. Spots him. Lovely. Good work for F4Q here. Styling things off as they mean to go on. Keep in mind two of G2's rounds here. Up to this point, we're from that pistol. So, a critical one going forward. I mean, just coming back, yes, G2 round one and two to, to potentially get back into this. F4Q, if they take the pistol and round two, it's double digits. And that's terrifying for G2 yep. to build back into this. I have to see what the answer is here. I'm seeing uh, a couple of investments on the side of G2, but no real main weapon. It's uh, a Frenzy and a Shorty actually swapped out now. It's a Sheriff yep. in the hands of Kellogg's, but... See if they can get anything done at all. Everybody here stacked up towards showers. Other than Nuki on short. And two members of F4Q actually to greet them. So, see here, going to try and play distance initially. But all the information gathered already. I think actually we'll do some damage, but we'll back away. And still with three bodies here. D2 walking into a comfortable stack here. See the patience from either side. 
Nookie getting that concept, but he can't quite deal with what he wanted to be. At least he does deny the follow-up if there was one. Nice idea. Again, Nookie just, just holding this down. He's just gonna, like, I'm just going to stay here as long as I can and see if I can maybe keep them interested. The thing is now with the shorty being noted, it's like, yeah, okay, you can have lamps. Yeah, leave Enjoy. them alone in there. Don't Enjoy. want that. But two members for F4Q still dug into B site. 5K and Zumba. Straight out. <laughs> yeah. Spike you get farmed on <laughs> yeah. the way out of this one. 5K finds the first two. Atsy will get the reload on that one. Kellogg's the walk to smoke. Atsy will find the first for Zumba. The second layer to that defense. We'll close things out for F4Q. Now we come to G2's buy round. And, you know, <laughs> looking at this, potentially, F4Q, if they can turn this, it's 11. G2 back down on, on pennies. And then it becomes even more difficult to even dream up the possibility of a comeback here. That reality seemingly slipping further and further away. And this is the one, G2. What you got in the tank for us? What you got... On that back burner, you've been saving up for maybe a moment like this. Because as it stands, F4Q have been showing you how it's done. Perfect beginning in the second half here. Double digits almost instantly achieved. A quick flash, but it finds no one. It gives not much away. Oh, Doggo. Has a little bit of a go of it. There's the flash. Fina could get some pressure from this and is. Noki going to take that space, but it's not without a trade. Quelled quickly by Bunny. Seeker Zoo come through. Mixwell has to handle them and has to fall off. Cole Menta given nothing on the side of this. Kellogg's actually going to work his way through showers here. Now, Cole got to be careful. Has the Aldrin, has the recon bolt. So I'm hoping Zumba and Esperanza are noted here. Mixwell going to swing on the first. And look at that. Actually diligent enough to clear the second as well. G2 find a way onto A site initially. Kellogg's now still in position and unnoted. Does deal with the flank. 5k falls. Bunny. A leisured spray with the SMG there. But... Uh, G2 will close things out. Three survive as well. And in terms of, you know, building some momentum here, yeah, it's a good one to carry across. Now, they don't have a Blade Storm to fall back on with this composition, but we look towards the Showstopper. We look towards the Hunter's Fury. You know, things that can open up around for G2. So we'll have to keep an eye on that progress here. Look at this. Mixwell actually clears the first. And like I said, yeah, real, real diligent there to be swinging on the second as well. Just making sure that there's no possibility for... It's just some cheekiness coming out on the side of F4Q. Yeah, that double stack could have really held some danger to it. But as you said, cleared out diligently and allowed them further forward. 10 to 5 now. Mostly rifles out. Poor old Afina feeling the pinch. Well, he's tight. I have the spike. Spike drop. Judge for Nookie. In time to see what G2 looked like on this attacking side. We got to kind of get the glimpse of personality that F4Q are bringing, but G2 on approach, I mean, this is quite to the, uh, I guess, to the pointy end of the stick if you're looking at how much time they've got to work with against double digits. Struggling in some of these uh, gun rounds. But it stands quite patient on approach thus far, but it looks like a 3-2 split going towards A if it continues this way for the attacking train. side. Seeker's invested. The distance real close just yet, and Kellogg's taking a lot of damage before even getting out of showers here. The wall's going to go up just go. behind the smoke here. Look, he actually comes all the way up Athena. on top of Athena, but he still comes Pop out. Flash. 5k's done so well here. Just buying time, trying to stay alive, trying to do something from this really uncomfortable position. Still making it his own high flash comes over. Doesn't quite find what he wants. And Athena, careful of your back here, but through the TP they go. Hitting the retreat, but as Kellogg still on an island, gets punished by 5k. And it's a 5v3 now. They're going to lean in towards the other side. They're going to try and get that spike down. Nothing to deny it. And that late lurk around, or at least the spike long plenty. rotation around for Mixwell. Eventually going to join them up on maybe long here. They still have to weather the storm. Five on the retake. Utility looking a little worn out here. Not much left for F4Q to play with, but of over. Going to give them at least the first fight here. Flash goes towards CT. There's the oh swing. My God. There was the lineup. You can see the damage on 5K. He's now the walking wounded, but Bunny striding towards the site here. Gets pinged out to now noted. They swarm the site. Avova isolates the player on the back line. called a mentor. He wants in. He gets in. That's two for him. And now it's just Sunba in the 1v2. Not going to happen. G2 power forward once again. They weather the storm and turn a 3v5 back in their favor, Lauren. Fantastically played. And... I mean, I've got to argue, Avova potentially good for more there. So fair play to him backing away from that and knowing how to play that round out. Again, just keeping F4Q guessing 
on the way back onto B site. And that's a big, big round for G2. Again, puts a little stop on the economy. Gives them a little bit of a buffer. And now we look at it. Revive online. Nuki now three slices away from the showstopper. Hunter's Fury. And the Vova does have his ultimate as well. So lots of tools available for G2 here. Hunting the toolbox. For now, long control being worked towards towards B. Okay, actually going to get some further progress as well. Braver than stopper. me. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, somehow no though, look at this. It's a three-man walk from that. F4Q. And it's not the first time they've dabbled with no. a slightly more aggressive, you know, sort of that double stack on short. They, they don't mind getting a little fruity, and I love that. They're trying to make that. the play forward, and now G2 may be feeling a little worse for wear, because look at their approach thus far. They've kind of reset a bit after that, and you can see they've not really gained much ground, so this could be a late hit against Pistol Sheriffs, should I say, actually, is a full-on, I think we call it a uh, <coughs> <coughs> Shiko. I think that's what it's commonly referred to now, yes. Hell yeah. Um, the Shiko is on the wrong site, however. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if Zumba can do much now. Nah. Noki's been slowly controlling long for some time, and now the site is actually absent of players. The rotation's a while off. And three old, again, if things do start getting a little wonky here for G2, lots to fall back on. But, F4Q at least. Two players forwards, Esperanza. The only one really with a rifle to come up and uh, I mean it's difficult here look for damage look for something to take away from it and speaking of something to take away bunny we'll find nookie with a fantastic headshot on the sheriff just giving out free haircuts there is a rifle for Esperanza here uh, should i be getting ever worried about this as a flash Esperanza finds a vova what the oh. hell is going on here how has this just happened that is an absolute tragedy. That's live. unforgivable. I mean, I was talking about a 3v5 for G2. That was a 3v4 with one rifle and two sheriffs. Bear in mind, Nookie had a rifle. Now, I, I said, hopefully things don't get wonky, but G2 have lots of tools to fall back on here. None of them, none of them pulled out by G2. That, that's an absolute fumble in my eyes, Lauren. Yo, and credit to F4Q to play that like like they have a chance. If you looked at that like every day, you run that. You run that every single time. You run that, let's say we run it 100 times. How many times do you think they get away with it? Not that many, but credit to them to play like that too. Esperanza is like 20 seconds behind that rotation How? to get the weapon. How? 11 to six, we go back in. G2, that's when the comms feel a little more quiet. Everything's a little tense after you fumble that one, but See if they can pull it back together. For now, we look at what we have coming up against them. The quick flash comes in. And it's going to be a quick piece. G2 not going to be messing around this time. Going to leave Nookie to take that space. Having to respect that audio cue that just rings on out. Post it. And if all Q going to sit a little deeper this time. So we'll get the plant. Well, Shock Dart's invested, but I don't know what damage has gone on the other side of that. And actually... A little gap created here with the wall by Kellogg's. Not sure if that was a misplacement or just looking to funnel a second choke point here. But Nookie actually going to get noted with the judge at least. And a second Cosmic Divide comes up. It's absolute chaos here on the site. Avova going to open things up. Nookie finds two further kills. 5k and Afina fall. Avova will find his third on the round. Zumba falls and it's a prime gaming flawless here, Lauren. Fantastically controlled there in the post plant by G2. And actually one that previously to bounce back from that. Big correction. <laughs> big, big correction. They need of what? After, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that last round. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. The difference a round can make. We saw them unable to hold that post plant, be absolutely run over by a thrifty round. <laughs> And come back like that. It's like, it's, I don't know if that's just them reminding themselves, like, no, 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 we can do this. There we go, 11 7. We're back into it. Money's looking a little tight, though, on the other side for F4Q. They are struggling a little bit. We're going to have, what, two rifles come out? Frenzy. I mean, the classic's the best gun in the game, so I shouldn't be worried. And uh, a judge as well. Truly a smorgasbord of everything most people dislike. <laughs> Unless you're Mitch Man. <laughs> Mitch Man somewhere is the most excited he's been all week backstage. <laughs> All we're missing is an Odin. <laughs> Truly. Nookie again. 
In position to at least keep Bunny in check. The yeah, Aldo going to come through. We'll reveal his position as well. So the weapon and the player noted here, and Bunny actually just goes full force, tries to find something. Now, all of this, Kellogg's still maintaining shower control. So, again, anticipating maybe pressure on both sides of the map. But actually, I mean, Zumba's played this slow. He's still all the way in lamps. The rotation has come through. F4Q have read this perfectly. Yeah, they're not out of position at all. Nookie might have... <gasps> oh, I, thought I thought he I hit thought him there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was about to throw my head off the just side of the desk, but is Esperanza still doing some work here? Left. Three players trying to swarm him, but... You will not kill my ally. You know? What? Okay, Sorry, Evova man. did check on that just to make sure. I was worried if somehow he missed that. Flash yeah, comes in, finds nothing. Wall still there. The 5k doesn't need the flash, doesn't need the birds. Just gets the headshot, and now a 2v4. This should not be losable. Uh, double stack Player towards standing. Lamps. That's going to be Mixwell's success on towards Esperanza. And the rifle, the 5k did show some beauty yeah. on. Not quite probably going to have the chance he wanted. There it is. G2 on the build back now. Four still alive, and we keep on going. Well, let's take a little look at the economy as well, because F4Q is... Uh, Scrappy investment in the previous. Yep. Well, we talked about that. The judge, the rifle, a, a sheriff, Zumba playing on a classic. Now, th this is pretty much going to be everything. Yeah, I, I mean, there's there's only 600 left in in the bank after this. So potential here for G2 to hit double digits and bring it within touching distance. It's only really on the back of well, two initially going in favour of F4Q, but G2 resetting in round 17. And coming straight back and answering back actually completely negates that buy from F4Q. Absolutely. And exactly what the doctor ordered for G2. They were looking a little flat here for a while. Not quite finding that form, but this build back could be something. But can't ignore the fact that F4Q are on 11 rounds. Big information going to be garnered through that TP. <laughs> oh, follow up, just Nuki getting nervous that a sky suddenly appeared. But it's all fine. And there's a flashback confirming someone might be a little closer than they'd like. Again, though, similar thing. This has been a recurring theme. Kellogg's again controlling outside the shower. I'm not sure if he was noted there, just to the timing of Zumba Pop in that one. But this time, at least, they've got somebody in position to greet him. And, and actually, short, wide open for the time being. Esperanza Hunter's Fury, so I think that's why he's playing a little deeper here. He wants to back up and potentially deny that. But Pop, early in anticipation. And Zumba will find a kill. Has he gone away with Whoop. that? And 5k as well. G2 thought they were safe. Thought they'd... Oh, we've got the side. We've got the wall going up. But no, look who's just lurking around these corners. Kellogg's now eats that flash completely blind. And 5k oh striding word. on through. Huge work from him. And F4Q make it up to 12. Third map is on the horizon. It was just over and done with. G2 looked like the team that was terrifying people in maybe scrims. You know, the scrim bucks take what you want from it. People were suddenly taking notice, but we go back in at 12 to 8. Is it recovery? Or is it map 3? Funny. We would like to get out of there quickly. Zumba's like, where are you going? <laughs> Hang around. I need some friends over here. Two on the other side, though. <sighs> Playing a dangerous game, but he spotted one. And it's actually 5k in the meantime to find Coldham Enter. But the trades come through effectively enough that it's kind of... Yes, negated that presence, but the problem is Athena's been caught in this yeah. battle in shower. All the kills have been kind of around it almost. So that's all the way over in Cubby, actually, where Kellogg's and Nookie are now able to find their way in. Zumba now walking, going to catch this audio He'll cue as well, on, and he's going to hear both. So now, a decent idea, at least. I'm not entirely sure what Bunny's still looking at because everybody should be accounted for here on the side of F4Q. Unless they're paranoid about one player. They heard two steps. Yeah, <laughs> this could be a problem. Zumba's timing now. Gets it. That's great news for F4Q here because G2 now, at least on even playing field. With the time, though, ticking in their side. Bunny can now adjust that attention and come back through. It's Kellogg's towards the site. Two stacked towards long. Kellogg's does get the isolated fight on Bunny. No trade potential coming through. Esperanza gets punished by Mixwell. And there goes Zumba. G2. They're not dead yet. They are clinging on to life. By a thread. Yeah. Again, I feel as if F4Q had a pretty good understanding of exactly what was going on there. But G2 able to convert, at least uh, on the early successes Kellogg's and Nuki were able to find up on B-Long. Again, back in that scenario, 900 credits left in the tank for F4Q. G2 
on the brink of double Easy digits. Country. Decent ultimate prog progression as well. Obviously, we see Evova oh, yeah. one away, Nuki one away, Kellogg's one away, Mixwell has the Seekers up. Athena again with that lockdown, but we haven't seen F4Q lean towards a retake really either side. No, you're right. Early shower control has been worked towards Seekers invested too, so not lightly worked around. Nothing to capitalize on aside from that, the Kellogg's. I just got super deep on this. Oh, I love this. This is very unorthodox, but quite nice to watch. The Flash did come in three players on the other side, and they're like, there's a bit of a problem with this. And that's going to be Nookie. Says hello to one, says goodbye to the second. And Zumba is there to quell that building threat. But Kellogg's was only a step away the entire time. With all this going down, G2 looking quite nice on this here. A little weird, but very good on it. Zumba striding in towards that smoke. Oh, oh, oh. this could be problems now. Mixwell feeling that pressure line to build. There is that ult coming down from that KJ as well. Yeah. Athena's found a Vova. No it's on Mixwell oh, to try and save it. He's got one. He knows Bunny's on the way, but what are you going to do against him? In true Bunny fashion, charging him down with a judge in hand. The double blast back. Going to close things out. Comfortable time on the defuse. And F4Q.